Hello everybody, it's several 4 for another episode of Trails in the Sky Second Chapter, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. In the last episode, we learned a lot about uh about Raven. Raven? That's his name now. Agate, wow. Agate who was in the Ravens. I am tired. And uh now we're going to be joining the army on their uh Cures of normal status. It's just... Okay, cool. Let's just buy a ton of that, actually. We have the money. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be joining the, uh... The, the army on their... Their, uh... Effort to capture the dragon. And, uh... That's just gonna be an interesting time. Um... Also... Let's see, our party right now is just these... I think I, yeah, I took almost everything good off of them, so I'm just gonna do something about that. There's not much I can do for you, really. Okay, yes, I just, I just gave them a little bit more of everything. Um, Yeah, the merchants are all in the hotel now, which is interesting. Do you have anything for us? Gambler Jack Volume 6, Liberal New Special. I wonder what the special is about. Ancient Dragon appears! Hey, buddy. I remember you. Oh, dare they stop me! <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Uh, no. I don't think the cleaver is going to be any good for us. Okay, let's get out of here. I've spent too much time here. Uh, so yeah, let's... I, really not much else for us to do. Hello, looks like they're already starting work. Yeah, thanks, they since and read. Been able to start construction a lot sooner than expected. Also send all the aid that must have surrounded you. It seems we've finally gotten past the worst of it all. It's a good thing things are settling down at least. How's Lila? Lila hasn't changed since yesterday. The only thing we can do is wait for the medicine to take effect and pray, really. Ah, uh, sorry. Not at all. Simply fretting by her bedside won't fix anything. For the moment, I'm of the opinion that the best thing I can do is fulfill my duty as mayor. After all, Lila would be quite put out with me if she knew I was wasting time worrying about her. <laughs> yeah, she definitely would. We'll do what we can, too. It's all in your hands. Good luck. I should probably put Zinn in my party, uh, actually. I mean, technically, he's, he's with us, but not in my party. Oh, you guys are brave to sold about, right? The army of the airship will be docking soon. Uh, you need to dock one to the right. Where? I have a feeling this is not the end of our chapter. This is... I mean, we haven't even fought a boss yet. I haven't looked at the head story... Uh, ahead story-wise at the chapters, but, um... The, uh, I, I'll look ahead at the side quests, just to make sure I don't, like, miss any side quests. Uh, and it goes straight from post chapter 5 into chapter 8, so stuff's, stuff's gonna be heating up soon. <clears throat> uh, let's wait for the ship. So the airship is gonna, that's gonna pick us up is gonna be one of those big reinforced army ones, right? Yeah, one of our, our guard airships. They make up most of our military ships, I'd imagine that's what we'd be on. Mm, the typical Royal Army airship is usually well-rounded, strong firepower. Uh, well-rounded, strong firepower, and large load capacity, and good mobility. And though that's what I know from ten years ago. They've been upgraded some since their initial deployment, correct? Yes. In addition to giving them better armor and engines and such, we have specialized the ships by varying their equipment: patrol craft, scout craft, attack craft. The principle, at least as I understand it, is to ensure the squadrons are flexible by giving each one mission-specific equipment. Just what I expect from the country that invented airship warfare. We have airship squadrons in Calvert, but they're really nothing more than showboats, really. <laughs> the Empire is a little different. We use airship squadrons, but the Empire's strength is always leaning in the Cal cavalry division, our tanks in this age. <clears throat> Attention, please. The Royal Army vessel will be landing at Port 1 momentarily. All non-affiliated personnel, please refrain from entering Port 1. Hey, here we go. 
here we go. Uh, I don't think I've heard this engine sound before. Oh my, that's come on, be the Arce. Ah! Yes. Pretty sure that is anyway. Oh, is 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 uh, Schwartz gonna be on here? That's not the Arce. That's something else. Right? <laughs> so we're gonna be ready. It is the Arce. Okay. Julie didn't mention this at all when I spoke with her last night. Yo, Estelle. Hi, everybody. Long time to see. Oh no! I mean, yay. What? Well, huh? Is that? <laughs> we seem to have a habit of meeting in the strangest damn places. It's tell everyone, it's so great to see you again! Ooh, uh, why are Niall and Dorothy on the RSA? Allow me to explain. Yay! Julia! Julia, you awful tease. Why didn't you tell me last night that you'd be coming in the RSA? <laughs> I had to have my fun with surprises sometimes, my princess. Captain right, Captain Force. I apologize. I apologize if I startled you. Oh, Julia. I take it that if you're using the RSA, it's part of Grandmother's plan? It's just so. Uh, what's your majesty got to do with this? If the famous cutting edge RSA gets involved, those living in fear of the dragon may have their concerns eased. I believe that is her thinking. Oh, good idea! Not Queen Alicia continues to impress, and the reporters are, I assume, along for the very same reason. It's propaganda time. Yeah, pretty much. The whole damn country's listening over this dragon thing. It looks like they're ho hoping us humble reporters can produce a little something to calm the masses. Mr. Burns, remember. I know, I know. I won't give away any state secrets. I am going to be poking my head around to some extent, though. I ain't writing straight propaganda here. As you wish. <laughs> On time for once, I see. Hey, I knew you'd be here. General Morgan! General, allow me to express our thanks for allowing us aboard. Huh, Her Majesty's opinion helped. Let me be clear on this upfront, so there's no misunderstanding. You bracers are nothing more than observers on this mission. <clears throat> All you'll be allowed to do is watch as we execute the plan. Yeah, I'm fine with that. If the army can settle things, I sure won't complain. I look forward to seeing what you can do, General. Very well. Your Highness, please, this way. We shall accompany you, you to the bridge. But... We cannot allow the Princess to board as a mere passenger on her own airship. It would affect the crew's morale, Your Highness. Oh, very well. He's as icy as always. I wish he'd just accept that us dumb civvy bracers are, you know, something approaching competent. <laughs> the general is a hard-headed old school sort of man. I doubt he'll even he'll, uh, ever change his opinions quickly. Let me to lead you aboard the ship. That note allow me to finally welcome you properly as allies and friends of long standing. Welcome aboard the RSA, flagship of the Royal Guard of Liberal. Yay! Yeah, I don't think we've ever actually been on it before. We've just seen it in action. I really hope the ship doesn't get destroyed by the dragon in the fighting. I'm just saying, this is the type of ship that would get destroyed. Hey, look at that. Right on the right there. This is the type of ship that gets destroyed by a dragon in the fight. Damn, too late! Yeah, that's what I thought. They're gone! We should have headed out a bit earlier. Now, nah, well, leave that dragon watching to the re we'll leave the dragon watching to the rest of the gang. Yeah, but oh, I wanna ride the RSA. Oh, come on, short stuff. There's more to life than gawking at machines. <laughs> oh, but there's so much to see! An engine room with eight of the new model engines, next generation bridge, all the best information processing equipment. They'll be a dream! For the. Uh, your eyes lit up. <laughs> your eyes are lit up like candles. <laughs> but still, Aggie, what do we do now? 
good question. Well, first off, I'm gonna need a new greatsword if I wanna keep being the heavy blade. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess you can't really repair a sword that gets broken that badly. Yeah, gonna have to buy a new one. Let's go order one at the weapon store in the south block. Agate! Yo, Ted. You're the receptionist here, aren't you? Yeah, it looks like you didn't make it in time. Uh, I could try to raise our stay on the radio if you want. Nah, it's okay. You came out here just to see if I cut the flight? Yeah, too, but we actually just got a rush delivery on the flight last night with your name on it. I just found it. A rush delivery for me? Yeah, a small package. Return address says Russell. What? From Grandpa? It's better to not be something critical. Just saying. Nice music, nice music. So we taking point on this? I wonder what kind of weaponry the RSA has. Well then, allow me to explain Operation Dragon Capture. Ooh, very nice. This operation will be conducted primarily by the airship force. Our ground divisions will focus solely on keeping order in all regions during the operation. Wait, all the regions were going beyond bows for this? Possibly not by our choice. Last night's event showed that the dragon's capacity for flight is significant. It's very possible they'll move to another region at some point. Yeah, good point. The plan shall involve tw 12 airships in total, including the RSA, which is to say it involves two-fifths of our entire fleet. The rest will be held in reserve. This is dangerous. Two-fifths of the entire fleet? That's enough power to... Enough power to give our friend quite a reception, hmm. Julia. Sir. Ah, oh, cool. Whoa! This is this a map of the mission plan? Yes, precisely. The RSA is currently cruising in the Bose airspace. We shall be using the RSA as the flagship and command vessel for this operation. The actual Dragon Patrol shall be carried out by... Whoa. Eight patrol ships equipped with wide area radar. If the dragon so much as raises its head above the tree line, they'll be able to find it. Then, once the dragon is found, the ships will give chase at high speed and use their rapid fire artillery to check the dragon and guide over to Lake Valeria. Ooh. At the same time, several patrol vessels armed with tranquilizer rounds will be scrambled from less than fortress. Once the dragon is pinned, they'll intercept it. They'll fire every tranquilizer round they have and sink the creature. That's the plan in full. Um, wow. Well, this is certainly a bit larger scale than most guild operations. If the tranquilizers don't work, I'm guessing they'll switch to live ammunition? Yes. In that case, we'll have to destroy the dragon with concentrated fire from all ships. That's not gonna work. Her Majesty asks us to prioritize capture over destruction, but we are ready for every contingency. Huh? Why would Queen Alicia want the dragon alive? Dragons are creatures of myth, the oldest legends. She said she could not bear to have it slain. I can understand that. Especially since the dragon is under the society's control. Yeah, good point. Wait, that's right! The Lawrence, uh, Lanhard, or whatever he is guy, he has a gospel, that'd mean... Yes, the orbital shutdown phenomenon. According to Professor Russell, the maximum range effect is roughly 5R. All the ships have orders to get no closer than 10 arc to the dragon. As long as we do that, there should not be a problem. That should work, hopefully. Most impressive, General. You do seem prepared for everything. Huh. We learned quite a bit from the Hundred Days' War. And should this plan somehow fail entirely, we will be left wanting for options. Should that come to pass, we will be left relying on you. It's nice of you say that, but, uh, why do I get the impression you think this plan is foolproof and invincible? <laughs> of course. This plan's a problem is that we have to wait for the dragon to show its face. Well, that's a, that's a question. What do we do if the dragon doesn't show up? <laughs> Given how Ouroboros has behaved at this point, I find it unlikely that they'll keep it hidden. They'll want us to you they'll want to use that dragon to do something. Yeah, they probably will, won't they? Well then, bracers. Once we found the dragon, we'll announce it over the comm. Until then, please make yourselves at home. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be a time. Let's go check out the uh, 
Tharsay here. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, you're the braces I heard about. I never thought General Morgan would allow braces on board. The Royal Army's really changing, I guess. I guess to prove General Price right, uh, reorganization is coming along. Ooh, fancy. Okay, instrument checkout. It isn't too often you get to measure an engine's output in action. I'm totally writing all this down for the engines we design in the future. Oh, we've done test after test wire it to wring as much performance as we can to the engine. No matter how many experiments I do, though, in live combat, things will be different. As one of the development staff, I'm half eager and half terrified to see how the engine performs. If it can get us through this mission, I'd say all the hard work will have been worth it. This will be the first flight out of the nest for a little, this little bird. I'll be seeing how she does and collecting the final data. Engine room. No trespassing. Look at this place. This, this is cool. No, we don't need rest. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, you're cool. Estelle, good to see you. What brings you here? I could ask the same thing you think of you, Zin. I know, trying to catch a nap or something. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but no, I thought I'd get a little practice in. I cannot seem to stay calm sitting in a confined space like this ship. You're in the middle of one of your walks, I guess. Yeah, I can never manage to sit still myself. But practice, huh? Isn't this a little cramp for practice? Practice isn't all about moving. movement, remember. There's plenty you could do even in a small space such as this. Huh? Like what? Breathing ex exercises and meditation for one, but practicing your forms is an important part of training as well. Especially for braces like us who tend to get a little sloppy and let our styles fall apart from so much live combat. It's important from time to time to find a chance to return to the basics and correct yourself. That's a good point, I haven't actually done any disciplined practice for a while now. Here you put it that way, it makes me worry I'm like an awful mess in a fight now. Oh man! <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, I was speaking generally. Still, if it's resonated with you, then there's nothing lost by finding a chance to recenter yourself. My offer still stands to be a practice partner. <laughs> well, thanks, Sid. I may just take you up on that. I'll be looking forward to it. See you later. Hello, Estelle. It's been quite a while. Uh, you're, uh... Oh, no, did you forget me? I'm Peyton the Mechanic. I was with you during one of your plans against Colonel Richard. Oh, sorry, a lot's happened since then. I remember you now, though. You're the one who got us the Intelligence Division airship, right? Uh, yep, glad it could be a help, and glad you guys didn't completely forget about me. Still, I heard there were braces aboard. <clears throat> the thought crossed my mind that it might be you guys, but I didn't think I'd be right in the money. Small world, huh? Yeah, we didn't think they were safe to be here, either. It seems like the Royal Army's pulling out everything for this mission. Yeah, I heard this target is the largest Liberian mil- This is the largest Liberian military mobilization since the Hundred Days War. And they tell me our target's a legendary ancient dragon. Well, better way to test the new engine, though, right? Yeah, you sure seem confident. Well, hey, in a way, all of our uh, all our tuning of that thing was in preparation for this day. The designers of the central factory are here today too to collect the data. It's finally time for the RC to make her grand entrance. I want her to fly like nothing's flown before. Really hope it does. When that second coup attempt happened, we brought out these orbital-driven howitzers. They're all busted during the fight, but we got them repaired quickly enough. We have trouble managing ground combat without these. Oh, that's cool. The door's tightly closed. Yes, that's probably the outside. Neat. Not still touring the ship. Pretty much, yeah, of course you're in here. Wait a minute. Are you drinking before a mission? It is a drink of celebration, my sweet. I celebrate the imminent meeting of the Genius Bard and the Legendary Dragon. Well, putting aside the Genius Bard bit, the Legendary Dragon... Do they still tell stories about dragons in the Empire? Why, naturally. There are quite a number of legends and tales of sightings, especially in the southern regions of Bows. In fact, I believe the Imperial Institute of Science was to launch an investigation, but then the Hundred Day, uh, Days War broke out. Wow, sounds like you guys take the legend kind of seriously. So even in the Empire, dragons are pretty much a mystery, huh? Mm, you could say that, I suppose. But to the people of the Empire, this particular situation would have a more straightforward solution. Straightforward, huh? Arboni is a far more, um, pragmatic realm than liberal. If something like this were to happen in the Empire, His Majesty would order the destruction of the dragon immediately. And the Empire believes in boldly standing against all who would oppose it. Even the opposition as a dragon, it would be torn down without mercy. 
That seems a little bloodthirsty. Securing national peace through force of arms is the Erebonian way. I confess, as a messenger of love and peace, I do find it a bit sad. Not so much a choice to eat here when we're on a long haul voyage. Part of the job is the nicer it is eating here. Is that a pool table? The kids got one hell of a job changing the menu up every day so we don't get tired of the same thing. It's a pool table. That's cool. Yo, bracers, welcome. Name's Casey. I run this little corner of the Ladybird's ship's cook. I run the ship's commiserate too. Uh, but that's not quite ready yet. If you want some supplies, I have to ask you to come back a bit later. Oh, you're not open? Oh, well. Hang on, though. Why is he drinking, then? What is he drinking, then? Oh, the guy in the white coat? I treated him. I was checking the stock of liquor, and he struck up a conversation. He seems to know what he was talking about, so I gave him a drink. Ah, uh, I, I see. Maybe he calls himself a gourmand for a reason, I guess. <laughs> Talk anyone out of, their, out of their liquor. Hello, bracers. Welcome aboard. Just above here is the bridge, and just below us is the conference room. The RSA is a pretty large ship. People tend to get lost at first when they're assigned to her. Yeah, seriously. You guys are having fun out here, huh? Yo, Estelle! Hey, Dorothy, you seem to be doing okay. Is your camera still treating you good? You bet! This girl's so cute, she gets great. Uh, she looks great from any angle. And by this girl, you mean the RSA? Oh, Dorothy, you're as you as ever. Hey, you too, Estelle. <laughs> you're just as full of energy as always. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, wait, were you worried about me? Yeah, of course. I mean, I, well, I took the photo of Joshua, right? If that made you all sad, I'd have to be sad too. Oh, Dorothy, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm a reporter, so it's my job to try and cheer people up. Um, sort of. If you're worried about anything else, talk to me anytime. <laughs> I'll just keep that in mind. <clears throat> Yo, Estelle! Kill in time till Dragon shows up? More or less, how about you? Putting stuff together for your latest scoop? <clears throat> Not really, I'm just waiting for the star of the show, same as you. Even if it doesn't show up, at least you get a few, few nice shots of the R6. We're just lucky enough to be here. Nah, you must be having a field day. You get to cover the flight with the dragon and the new cutting edge ship all in one go. Well, the dragon versus airship thing alone would make it a story of a decade. Every single reporter at the office raised their hand when they were talking to taking volunteers to cover this. Hmm, that figures. Congrats on getting picked for the job. Did you guys draw straws or something? We draw? No, of course not. I got picked because I'm a damn good reporter. All that effort during the coup is starting to pay off. Hey, more power do you! Uh, so even the Royal Army respects you now, huh? <laughs> if you write good stuff, you're the big guy. even the big guys will come knocking on your door. By the way, if anything interesting comes your way lately, I'm free to swap a few stories anytime you want. We can always use a few good editorials to fill our pages. <laughs> we'll see. Speaking of, Estelle, you close at old Captain Schwartz? I wouldn't exactly call us close. I guess we've known each other for a while now, though. Don't suppose you could introduce me. We've been getting hemmed by readers for a special edition featuring the female captain of the Royal Guard. Julia's kind of popular then. Oh, totally. I'd say she's about as popular as Her Highness Claudia. Never even. I've even heard some publishers are itching to put a whole photo album of her on the shelves. <laughs> a photo album? It's just a rumor flowing around. Even if they wanted, there's no way they'd get permission. I'm sure to want to be the guy caught taking candid photos of her. Yeah, that's true. I'd kind of like to see this album, though. <laughs> I'm just going to take a picture of this beauty until the dragon shows up, and then I'm going to pretend to get interior shots of the game pick of the lady captain instead. <laughs> the two of them. The two of them. I'm just going to get a, a second uh, a second talk to, uh, to both of you. It'll be an interesting turn of events for the dragon to flee into Arabonia. Were that to happen, though, it is all too clear that it would be taken as an excuse for rekindled war. Our good General Morgan is all too aware of that, I suspect. Yeah, that's why we're driving it to the sec uh, to the uh, center of our uh, country. I'm gonna continue my kata for a while. I want to be warmed up when the dragon appears. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna go back into the control room after I talk to uh, Chloe and Shara. Shara, so this is where you are. Hi there, still taking a walk. Yep, I am enjoying the wind. Yes, the weather's lovely, so I'm taking it easy. Knowing when to take a breather is part of our job, you too, you know. Short breaks are these are good for keeping our minds sharp. Now is the perfect time. Yeah, I know. Hey, Shara, do you think the plan will work? To be honest, I don't know. 
common sense is there's a very good chance he'll succeed. And we have 12 patrol ships out on patrol as we speak, after all. Hard to imagine even something as powerful as a dragon getting away from all that. Yeah, I guess you're right. John Morgan's pretty confident, too. And that's just how he looks on the surface. Remember, he was none too happy to have bracers on board. And yet, he let us on anyway, that can only mean one thing. He's worried about how this will turn out, too? Exactly. And that is still his wife conserving our strength right now is a good idea. <laughs> Makes sense. I guess I'll keep wandering around a bit. Good, that's what I like to hear. It's not even every day you get to ride the Arce. Enjoy yourself. True enough. See you, Shara. See you soon, sir. The fact that we're on board proves General Morgan is uneasy. We need to be ready to act at a moment's notice. But until then, I'm gonna take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own wheels make you crazy. Yeah, you guys are here to observe the operation, right? Well, I just got one thing to say. Don't get in our way. Jeez. Oh yeah, you get rid of those braces, right? I'm Lux, the RCS Hull, so I'm in charge of piloting the ship. Sorry, but it looks like you guys aren't going to get a chance to show off. A dragon? Please. Even a dragon is nothing compared to the RSA. You guys just sit back and enjoy the show. Oh, hello, your observers, right? I'm Leon, the RSA communication off uh, officer. I run the switchboard and radio here. Probably won't be a very long acquaintance, but it's nice to meet you. Miss Bright, good day. How do you find the RSA? It's really, really cool. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that the Queen's ship is awesome, but still. <laughs> Thank you for your kind of mis kindness, Miss Bright. I'm simply relieved the new engine made it in time. Of course, I hardly expect to use a mission of quite this nature. I hear that. Who'd imagine a dragon would show up? Yes, it's an utter mystery as a foe even to us. We may have to have a plan of attack, but it would be foolish to rely completely on it in the face of the unknown. Be prepared for anything in case something goes amiss. If anything happens, it'll be all be up to us, huh? Hopefully it'll not come to that, but only Ideos knows what lies before us. Oh, by the way, Julia, did you know that Niall, uh, Mr. Burns, wants to cover you for an article? An article? About me? Yeah, he wants the citizens to know the real royal guard, he says. He's pretty serious about his job, so I think you can trust him, you know? I'm well aware of Mr. Burns' professional credentials. If not, I would not have allowed him to accompany, accompany us and cover the story. Ah, oh, yeah, good point. To be honest, I absolutely support the idea behind such an article. However, I'm afraid I must decline. Huh? You even support it? Even if you support it? We have a few similar proposals from other companies as well, you see. You cannot give the liberal news any special treatment. I guess not. Forgive me, but please tell him as much. I still look forward to seeing the article, however. Okay then. Huh, we tried. I still hello. Are you finding it a little hard to calm down? Yeah, a little bit. Really can't stay still for this one. That reminds me, you um, always walk around like this on passenger ships as well. Yeah, now that you mention it, I do. I don't know, I feel kind of suffocated in traffic and I just have to sit around politely. <laughs> That's very like you, Estelle. But uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much on the say. Huh? What do you mean? Property of the Osley's family may be, but there's still a fully functional war cruiser. At full speed, its engine capabilities far exceed those of passenger vessels. If we go at flank speed, I don't think you'd even be able to remain standing. Is it seriously that fast with the new engine? You'd be surprised, I think. It's a bit like walking into a storm. Ah, I see! So that kind of makes all this calm before the storm, then. Ah, uh, yes, after a fashion. This may be a very brief period of peace before the action begins. If you want to look around the interior, this may be your only chance. I better keep that in mind then. Guess I better start wandering around faster, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later. Let me just take a drink. As you said, Estelle, it's the calm before the storm. If you want to have a look around the interior, there seems this may be your only chance. I had a feeling. Signal from the Melder! Dragon in flight in the airspace of the Malga Mine. All crew to the battle stations! All crew to the battle stations! Field observers report to the bridge! Here we go! Here we go! Wahoo! Wah wah! Here, here we go! I'm sorry. Okay, Lawrence isn't with the dragon though. This is. smells like a trap. What's happening? 
happening? Dragon is above the Mulga Mud. Look at the display. Oh, that's neat. Mulga, so it's in Roland. I'm amazed we found it. Where shall we intercept it, sir? Good question. We need to lure it to the lake, but we cannot afford to let near the capital. Our interception point will be near the Lenhard River estuary. Patrol ships, lure the dragon to the riverside. Attack ships, forward. Aye, sir. This is the RSA to all ships. Our interception point will be the Lenhard River estuary. All patrol ships, lead the dragon to interception point. Use for mission B. Attack ships, launch and proceed to the interception point. think he would actually fall into their hands. Perhaps I need to settle this myself. No, if I act, it will simply be the same thing all over again. <laughs> he and I are in the same position, I suppose. The great Adios who arts in the sky, please guide us who stand upon this chaotic earth. Does he know the dragon? Does he know the dragon? Of course he knows the dragon. All attack ships have launched. Estimate, uh, estimate the arrival at 1220 uh, hours. Oh. Full speed ahead. Put us southwest of the interception point. Aye, sir. Restore orbital power flow to all sections. Ahead. Ahead full. Helm, take us to the southwest of the Leonard River estuary. that the bow of the ship is like a, a like, like a lance cannon. All attack ships have uh, arrived at their designated positions. Tranquilizer rounds loaded and ready. All right, all that's left is to wait for the dragon to show up. All attack ships, prepare to fire. Begin attack on my command. Aye, sir. <gasps> and it begins. This isn't gonna work, but it's gonna look cool. ships fire I appreciate the one that's just missing so much that's a lot of rounds is it working? There's no way that should have worked. Ha! I think we got it! Absolutely incredible! <laughs> Not even a dragon could stand up against this! My goodness, such spectacle! What a performance! Confirming splash down a dragon into Lake Valeria. Shall we proceed as planned to bind it, sir? Proceed. As soon as you've confirmed it's safe, bring the Arce down. We'll perform a water landing and inspect the dragon ourselves. Aye, right, sir. There's no way that this is this wasn't a trap. Yes, yeah, and people out on a boat. This is a horror movie, the dragon would just open up its mouth and chomp him down. Water landing complete. No response from the dragon. 
right then, time to see this with my own eyes. Captain, accompany me. Sir. This can't... This... There's no way this isn't a trap. Um, can we... Yes, you should come too. This is an ancient dragon of legend, not exactly something you'll get to see every day. Yeah. Which we will have to see in the next episode, so thank you all very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth Level 4 with Legend Heroes Trails in the Sky 2nd Chapter. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dragon's totally asleep. Yeah, there's no way that this isn't going to be the plan. There's no way Lawrence or Lanehart or whatever he calls himself is going to let this be the plan without, you know, pulling something. But anyway, we'll see what happens next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.